number of police officers in the state of Florida this week, law enforcement being recognized for their commitment and service. And tonight, Rebecca Petit with what you'll soon see in local cities at night and the powerful message behind it. It's been a year of great loss for law enforcement officers here in Tampa Bay, with three officers killed in the line of duty in as many months. It's such a great um, honor and what they've done and all that they've given for the community and sacrificing their lives. National Police Week is honoring their lives and show support for the men and women who protect our communities. Tonight, the Tampa Police Department is remembering its heroes that made the ultimate sacrifice with a memorial ceremony. Paint the Town Blue is another initiative happening this week, and it encourages you to illuminate your home with blue lights as a way of recognizing the sacrifices law enforcement officers make every day. There's been a total of 12 officers killed in Florida this year, more than double the line of duty deaths during the same period in 2020. Today, the Attorney General's office announced its new initiative called well, Thin Blue it? Line, where the AG will be meeting at agencies across the state to thank officers for wearing that badge. I'll stand on the thin line. I'll stand on the line between chaos and peace. I'll stand on the line between violence and safety. I'll stand on the line between the wicked and the innocent. She kicked off the initiative at the Plant City Police Department. It never ever hits the news about what we do and how we do it and the professionalism that we show. So for the Attorney General and her Thin Blue Line initiative to recognize all the good works it bolsters law enforcement to go out and do it again and again and again. Officers tell me receiving gratitude makes their job that much more rewarding. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.